How's it going, folks? How's it going? You already know the waves. It is Zachariah White, aka Big Daddy Drip. Well, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got the camera flipped over towards my little laptop or whatnot. I ain't even got the camera on me. All right, I'm just setting, I'm just getting the camera set. I'm just getting the camera set. <laughs> I don't know if this is how I'm going to start off all my episodes or whatnot, but that's how I'm going to start. That's how I started off the last one. That's how I'm going to start this one. Right, but y'all already know, it's time for me to get some camera time, baby. I'm, I'm all about the, the bright lights and, and the glitz and the glamour and all that. So lights, camera, action, bam. Hold up, let me turn it around. All right. Ooh. You set it and let me push it back a little bit. Now I might have to keep on readjusting it and I might end up like taking a camera back to look to see how much time has gone by. But we are here. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Y'all already know what time it is. It is Zachariah White, AKA Big Daddy Drip. Back at it like it's nothing with this drip and the sauce because I am the boss. And y'all already know this is the second episode of the Royal High Table, right? And you know, I mean, everybody's kings and queens in their own right. That's what I said last time. You know, I'm, I'm dipped, you know, I'm, I'm dripped up or whatnot and some, this, this, that, this, that Catalonia. I don't know if any, I don't know if any y'all know, know anything about that. Granted, it ain't. It's not nothing expensive, but it's something nice though. They they make some nice uh what's it called? Some nice like you know cover clothing and all that, and it's real nice. It, it, I feel comfortable right now. I feel comfortable. You know this 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 you know I wear it when I go to sleep or whatnot. You know it, it, I feel real cozy and warm inside. But back to back to what I was talking about, right? Again, we all kings and queens in our own right. <laughs> Anybody's welcome to eat up at this table or whatnot, but you are more than welcome and you are definitely encouraged to put on your actual crown. So with that being said, allow me to put mine on. Ooh, if only it would not get stuck. Huh. I won't hold you. This is better. <laughs> this is better. Um but listen, it, it, it's, it, we here. Granted, it's 1134. Granted, I won't hold you. Um, my plan was to get like, it was with the Royal High Table. I, I Let me get my words together, right? My goal was to have like 10, 10 topics every time I, I pull up for an, for an episode, right? Um, and I also keep, well, I also know that I said this last video, right? But I also keep in mind that, you know, I'm, I'm, this is, this is, this is, this is a new, I'm expanding my horizons, right? And this is something that I'm, I'm, I'm just now starting. Uh, so it won't exactly be as to where, you know, how I planned, you know, the first time around, but I'm definitely going to work my way, work my way, you know, towards where I want it to be. Or if, if I don't need it to be there or whatnot, I'll, you know. It, it won't be that way and um, I'll just again with with whatever it is that it needs to be make sure that it is as good as great as awesome as possible or whatnot for for myself and for you know you guys right there y'all y'all definitely been supporting me or whatnot uh, for ever since <laughs> ever since I started recording with the with the ps4 so I greatly appreciate that let me to take a sip of this water real quick mm. I ain't gonna hold you. It tastes good. Um, but anyway, I won't. I I won't even hold y'all. Um, this past week or so, from like from from now until what you know, I guess the last time that you know that I did one of these episodes. Um, well, granted, some of the stuff that I'm talking about, you know, happened before. Um, I got I got four topics, but uh, it's been a very it's been a very interesting, interesting week, interesting couple of days or whatnot, to say the least. Um, I know the last thing that I was talking about was the whole, was the six, you know, was six, nine, right? Because, um, and, and granted, <laughs> my apologies to you guys for that, um, because 
I was still trying to figure out how long I could record. And not only, oh, shoot, my phone buzzed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, it ain't nothing much. But anyway, right? But I was still trying to figure out how, how long I could record on the camera. And not, God dang. All right, whatever. Cool, cool, cool it, cool it. <laughs> um, but... But anyway, I was still trying to figure out like how long I could record on the camera um, and as well as how much I guess it could actually hold. And once once I, you know, got midway of that third video, it said, uh -uh, hey, hey, this all this all we can hold or whatnot. So I guess um, so I'll figure out a way how to work within that and also figure out, you know, um, if need be, try to get another one and whatnot. So, you know, I, I could, you know, I could really, really go for as long as I want to go for um but but you know anyway the last the last thing that i was talking about was the six nine uh what, what was six nine just in general um he's he, he's been um very what's the word i want to use i'll say very an intriguing artist or what an intriguing figure um to say the least right uh, every, everybody knows about, you know, just about, about his style. Uh, it's very, very, uh, a lot of bravado. I'm not going to say bravado. I don't think that's the right word, but ostentatious. That that's, I think that's something I'll go for. Very ostentatious. Um, a lot of confidence, right? Perhaps it might be perhaps arrogance. Um, many would say, um, and a lot of people are aware of, again, him going off the jail, and, and him, you know, disclosing some information, you know, to 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 get more people some jail time or whatnot. And I ain't gonna hold y'all. I, I I definitely did dance around and you know find a nice way to word all that right there, you know. But uh, but yeah, but he definitely did that. But as of recently, um, as of the time that I was initially planning on talk about him, he actually released a video or whatnot of him promoting some new, uh, some of his, you know, new music. Um, I don't know if he, I, I'm pretty sure he hasn't released it yet. Otherwise, shoot, otherwise, hell, it'd be all over YouTube, Twitter, social media, all that other sort of jazz. But, man. And then, not only that, I'll scroll up, well, over here. Ooh, no, wrong mouse. Wrong mouse. Is it the wrong mouse? Oh no. Oh snap. God leads. I got some technical difficulties and I got stuff falling all over the place. Alright, forget this. Let me see. Right. Okay, but anyway, not only that, but as of just this past Sunday, I mean Man, um, uh, a, a video popped up, and yeah, I mean he and Meek Mill, <laughs> and especially especially ever ever since um he's gotten out of jail and and he he you know he he got he 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 he, he like once he got out of jail and he released his music you know at that point in time immediately upon his release. You know, six nine was soaring, and but you know it's definitely apparent that he and Meek Mill were not the the best of friends or whatnot. That's putting it very mildly, but uh, those two ended up getting into not a scuffle, but you know somewhat of an altercation. Um, I won't hold y'all. <laughs> I've tried. Well, I I ain't gonna hold y'all. I guess I guess this this is why you got to check two sources and not even two multiple sources. Right, um, cause what I'll say is I know what I saw in the video, right? But I also see. I well, <clears throat> excuse me. I know what I see or whatnot on you know some of these these uh, I'm not uh, well the news sites I don't know, but uh, paparazzi sites I don't, I guess I guess I don't know see these sites or whatnot that have information about what happened. I'll just say um, and I got TMZ and we have Stereo Gum. Right, and then I outlined it. Right, you got the who, what, when, where. Now I didn't get the, the how. When I actually, I mean, I don't know. I guess we could apply apply how um, somewhere along the lines, but you know, like how it made somebody feel. <laughs> but 
Um, but yeah, no. As far as who, obviously you got six nine and Meek Mill. As far as where, now this is why I guess we gotta check multiple sources because one said, and I mean I believe on TMZ uh, this was supposed to have happened at the Komodo nightclub in Miami. Shout out to Miami. I won't hold y'all. Shoot, I want to go down there. But yeah, this was this little altercation between the two where you know, obviously a good bit of yelling, you know, both sides got cameras out. You well actually I don't know about both sides. I know six nine six nine definitely had camera had a camera out recording. And actually I'm pretty sure somebody on his side had a camera out as well because I remember seeing a video from from Six Nine's point of view and from Meek Mills somebody on Meek Mill's side their point of view as well so this guy so both sides got got at least one video all right um and shoot when the sun just this past Sunday on Valentine's Day you pick one <laughs> you pick one heck of a day or whatnot to be beef to to you know go about doing all that yelling and what <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all they should have been they should have been with a girl or something um but but anyway um and it's like what as far as um, what both of those sources appear to be saying is that Meek Mill was on his way, was about to leave, and 6 9 you know, I guess saw him or and all that other sort of jazz. And then, bada bing, bada boom, bam, we got the altercation where they both yelling at each other, security's getting involved, you know, 6 9 saying this, Meek Mill saying that, yada, 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 all that other sort of jazz. Um, and damn. I also got some quotes from from what McNeil put out there on Twitter. Um, to be honest, I got a couple of them. I won't I won't read all of them. I'll just try and and, and find one though. Um, hmm. Um, I guess I think the mo the more the more notable, the more impactful one. I guess I'll read off that one. Well, I'll try and read off all three because I don't like. You know, I don't want to like withhold any information and all that other sort of jazz or whatnot. So the first quote is, you know, Meek Mill's going on on Twitter. He says, Six Nine waited outside the club for me. They trying to get us. What the f? All right, we did not run into each other. I was getting in my car. He just popped up. We we almost was smoking on that Six Nine pack for the love of the for the love of a viral moment. He trying to get something something locked up. No cap. He was laughing just as I was laughing a little bit. Um, the feds, uh, quote number two, the feds sent him to take us out, take me out. Um, I had to spit on him, so he retreated. He really waited outside the club for me. Damn, all right. Now, I don't, again, I, I don't, ooh, shoot, I'm getting notifications. But anyway, I don't quite know about, well, all right, I guess I'll talk about what, what I saw in the video after this, right? But apparently he spit on him, and then he goes on to say, I thought I was dreaming. What the fuck? What the flip? We almost smoked him. He he posed a little threat popping up in the parking lot waiting for me. All right, and then the final quote that I picked up was, "I hope that rat going going." <laughs> all right, all right. Let me. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me let me let me read it and have it actually make sense. I hope that rat gonna live to apologize to the people he told on or the victim. Y'all forgot that fast. A rat killed Nipsey. He wasn't supposed to be on the street. That's the only thing I'm a fuck. That's, <laughs> that's that's the only thing I'm a I'm a say. I yeah I don't know. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm a say because he's dead. Left his baby mom and child like a cow with his targets. Yeah, I, I I'll say that 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 was the um that was the I don't know that 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 was the most the more impactful of the quotes that that, that I saw and really um got at um well not got at but you know I guess saw and and, and took in um and as far as like what I remember seeing from either of those um again the the video from 6 9 and the video from somebody on Meek Mill's side I don't know if it was Meek Mill himself who recorded it but um definitely between those two um I mean, Meek Mill was, <laughs> Meek Mill, uh, wait, no, no, 6 9 he was, you know, yelling, yada, yada, yada. I think he was, I think he, he was saying something about how uh, Meek Mill had a, had a, had a cop on his side or something. I don't know if he was talking about security. I don't know. He, but he, 
Six Nine said that uh, Meek Mill had a cop, and then I think all I remember Meek Mill saying was, um, I don't even I don't even remember him throwing an insult. I th I just remember him saying something like, "All right, well, this is what we gonna do." That that's the only thing I remember from either of those two um, videos of Meek Mill actually saying that. Obviously, you know, there's more to what happened than what was recorded, but you know, mm. um, but you know, that's what happened. Uh, damn. <laughs> got a little bit of drama that that's for sure um and then not only that i just i i just because that that point that meek mill brought up about the whole again you know being an informant um it's i guess i'm not, i i really don't know because i won't hold you um I, I didn't grow up in those suburbs or whatnot, but I'm also not going to make it seem like, you know, I grew up, you know, in the the project of the projects or and all that other sort of jazz. I grew up in a hood and all that other sort of stuff. Um, you know, similar, similar, to, similar to Meek Mill, similar to the 6 9 and it's crazy because Meek Mill is my favorite freaking, <laughs> like, as, 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 at least at the moment and for a while, Meek Mill is my favorite rapper, right? Um, his it's it's something. Uh, but just just focusing on six nine, cause that that definitely is something. You know, like being an informant and ratting on someone. Obviously, it that's not gonna go well in the streets. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't know how how you know. It, it, I guess it could go either or. You know, just in the regular world, but like for the streets, they obviously not gonna rock with that. Um. But a thought that that really came to my mind was because, like it, like just just being an informant and writing that seems like that to me it like it seems like 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 one of the things that that people just don't come back from, right? And and six nine is supposed to supposed to be releasing new music soon. If he if if this charts right and if this does numbers and all that other sort of jazz i i'm not going to say that he put he puts that notion to rest because you know that notion's been around for a while and you know in, embedded within within that notion is a lot of it well not is are a lot of people a lot of people got hurt um both in the process of of, of so and so you know the so and so informing after the fact all that a lot of people got hurt um all that but if six nine is able i guess the a positive damn i don't even because because it, it, it's it's very debatable um depending on how you look from it but I guess a positive. It, I guess even even then, damn. If if he does come back or whatnot, I guess that really speaks to even regardless of how low you are, you can still like pull yourself back up from it. I I think that's a thought because the that whole situation with you know with six nine and you know. And, and 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 the gang that he was affiliated with and the reason why he did it what they did to him what he what he did to them what they did to him all that other sort of jazz it's it's just very very tricky but um but if i had to if 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 <laughs> if, if one was to come, one was tasked with you know with having to come up with a with a positive out of like you know all this and especially what what just happened i guess it is that damn like one he he's still very very i mean i don't quite know how his last album did i don't think it did well i thought i thought like he, he fell off or it was something about you know spotify somebody cheating him um but yeah i i don't know i think i think that that could be somewhat of a positive like idea about that even like regardless of how down you are or you know like i guess how whatever bad it is that you did like you're never really out of it um i don't know but i guess i guess we'll see i i definitely let me clarify i'm not <laughs> i'm i'm not supporting nor 
you know, you, like I'm not, I'm neither supporting nor you know speaking bad on, you know, whatever it is that six nine did to get himself in this situation and all hey, out in and out of the situation, but damn, that that that's just. That's that's just a, a thought that I had in mind just as I was as I was thinking about six nine as I was thinking about you know like what he did in the like you know the you know his numbers and all that in the past and I guess what that would you know a message although a good you know a bad message or whatnot that somebody obviously take from it is that oh yeah well you can rat you can you can you know you can snitch on somebody yada 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 and and you know staying things you know the world still keeps going and yada yada and people look at that and may look at that as a bad thing but i don't know it is even i guess it's all about perspective because that could because that it could be a bad thing but it could also be a good thing as well i guess depending on how you look at it um but man it's something because i also know that like i like i just typed up like some memorable songs that like I know from 6 9 you know some of them that I've heard before um some of them I haven't um but I made note of Trolls, Scuba, Kika, Fifi, Stupid, Kuda, Gummo those were the seven right and what I will say like the well, I, well I'll say this right because I, I got the numbers from Wow, from most of the, like, from most of the quote-unquote songs and all that, um, I got the numbers from, like, the music videos, right? So, I guess, I guess, you know, um, if we wanted to get, like, an accurate, if we wanted to get, like, the best overall, you know, picture or whatnot, I guess I'd have to um, also get, like, just the, the video with just the sound or the music in it, but... It, they did a, a a a lot of numbers like combined it's definitely over a billion it's definitely over a billion right because i'll just take okay we start from from the bottom right like gummo that's that's i think that that's the first song that i remember that got six nine on that's when i first heard about him all right 338 million views all right cuda 336 million views stupid 269 million views fifi 900 and like that okay 949 million views that alone almost got a bill all right kika so now this, this was the lowest 761,000 um views but that like I'm, I'm almost certain like yeah, no, whenever I type up the song, I never saw a music video for it or whatnot. And, like, I just remember, like, just only getting the sound for it. Gooba, 684 million. That's, that's the one he got when he just came back, right? And Trolls, I mean, I guess this is, like, a, a decline because, you know, it's a, he, but he still got four, 46 million views <laughs> off of that. Um, I, I don't quite know. I mean... I don't quite know whether to root for him or not. Um, I, I guess I'll just sit back and see what what really happened. I guess it's some part because I'm not. I won't hold you. I'm not. I'm not affiliated within you know the street life, gang life, yada yada. But I guess it. If I if okay 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 if if society is going to take away from it like I guess like a positive from it from from this situation and all that I guess damn it's hard not to to get that support because again people just don't come back from that that's just again informing on somebody like people just don't come back from that <laughs> and and if he's somehow able to do that then damn that that's now granted will will that you know increase like just you know the arrogance and you know the ostentatious nature or whatnot maybe so hopefully but uh hopefully 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 uh nothing nothing bad or whatever comes from that but i think there is there is def i think there's something you know good to to take away from that you know just just looking at things in general um but speaking of drama, hold on. Let me let me take a look at where I'm at on time. Wow. Okay. I am almost. I got about like six minutes before this stops. But speaking of drama, God dang. The oh, hold up. Let me fix the camera. Right. Let me take a sip. 
Ah, man. All right, but anyway, speaking of drama, this was this was also another topic that like I was planning on talking about um, last the uh, the last um, episode that I was doing uh the ti and tiny uh the ti and tiny allegations i remember actually uh bringing that up um when i was completing an, an assignment for my crime and media um class or course that i'm doing um, i'm trying to think what was the specific um we were actually talking about deviance um amplification and really you know and and even within deviance amplification i guess i'll explain that a little bit but Hold up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, like a, a connection to like the Salem witch trials and all that. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I I'm pretty sure I made like a slight note of it. But my focus on that, like when I was talking about, again, you know, answering the prompt and, you know, talking about the topics that I was talking about. Um, the main comparison that I brought up was to McCarthy trials. And but even with the deviance amplification concept, I guess that, you know, I, I'll explain a little bit for you guys to like keep in mind. The, it, it is the idea that, okay, well, or it's the concept that somebody, especially somebody famous, does something um, wrong or somebody within society does something wrong, right? And it's essentially the media, um, really focusing in on it reporting it and obviously the the frame and and the the perspective again that 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 they're pushing out that you know they're reporting on is that this is bad this is something that needs to be weeded out um this person needs to be punished or something needs to happen to them yada 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 um and Obviously, this is something that's very applicable to this situation right here. Um, the source that I got, well, that I got some of this information from. I, obviously, I've heard, you know, some cliff notes <laughs> um, just just from social media, just from I, I won't even hold you, just just from looking at the titles of on on YouTube. Um, but anyway, uh, shoot. Tiny, T.I. and Tiny, they, they got some, they got, got sexual ring allegations, sex, sexual assault allegations. Um, hell, even their show, T.I. and Tiny, I, as y'all already know, I'm not, shoot, y'all probably, I'm not telling y'all nothing new. Um, but their TV show, the T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle has been halted, you know, M MTV, um, I don't know. Is it on MTV? Shoot, for whatever reason, I, I didn't even think it was on MTV. I thought it was on like um, VH1 or something like that. But anyway, wherever it's at, it, it got halted. <laughs> like wherever, whatever network they got this show playing, it is they 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 put a pause to that. Um, and like the specifics that I found, just according to Rolling Stone, was that a woman by the name of Sabrina. Peterson accused T.I. of putting a gun to her head in an Instagram post. Um, well, like, I, that Sabrina made an Instagram post just, just to clear confusion and that T.I. ended up putting a gun to her head and forcing her to do stuff. Uh, Sabrina used her account to share the stories of 30 other women of crimes, including being drugged, being coerced into sex, being trapped, yeah, being trafficked by the Harris uh, the Harris family, well, not Harris family, by, by you know, T.I. and Tiny. Um, and the Harris denied these allegations and made note of consistent issues with Peterson spanning well over a decade um, and planned to take legal action if Sabrina, or Miss Peterson, rather, uh, continues about with these allegations. Um... Again, I won't hold you. This is another tricky, another tricky situation. Um, it, it, it's really tough because, especially at this point, there has been so many instances, right, where somebody has been accused, especially somebody somebody of prominence, somebody in power, somebody with money, 
has been accused of doing something. Right? And and this is what I won't hold you. This is what I made note of. Like I, I made note of like countless celebrities who have been accused of stuff. And I'm not speaking as to, you know, whether they did it, whether they did